Hi, greetings, Greg Moss here with another Odoo video. In this one, we're gonna see how we take uh, our Odoo installations that first, you know, we had to acquire our server, we set up our SSH keys, then we installed Odoo itself and its packages, we tested it to make sure it would work, then we created a service so that it would all restart okay. Hopefully it's all, it's all been clean so far, uh, straightforward, now we're going to actually set up a domain name. And so because that domain name needs to be set up and I'm going to build that website out, we have a real case here where you can actually see a domain name now that has nothing on it become an Odoo 14 website. And so this would be the first step in actually creating a website. I pulled up my DNS entries just so you can see how they would look. There's no real magic here. At this point, what I want to do is I want this siteproposals.com to be a secure, notice this is not secure, that when you go to siteproposals.com, you come here. And, you know, I would probably say, I'm going to set up a new database. There'll be a whole nother video for how I would really configure this for a website. At some point, if you're serious about Odoo, you know, obviously like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me. But if you're serious about Odoo, then, you know, get... Odoo Essentials course. If you're looking to integrate Odoo, I provide a lot more in-depth tutorials than I can here on YouTube. And then also mastering Odoo development if you were interested in more configuration, more administration, and are really serious about becoming an Odoo expert. So with that said, let's see what we can do here to get site proposals coming here and set up a secure DNS for Odoo. So we're going to begin by going back to our, our guide here, and we can go where we left off, and you'll see the next stage in here is configuring Nginx to access Odoo. Now there's some information in here that you'll want to read, but we can skip that as I've already covered some of it. And when you have the guide, which you can get below, you'll, you'll just be able to follow it as well as this video. So I'm going to copy that and come into here where we will, once we're hooked up to our server and connected, sudo app install nginx. So this installs the web server that we're gonna use. Odoo has its like own kind of web server, you would say, but nginx is now gonna take control as being the, the web server and, and talk and pass the requests that come through the internet and through, through when the DNS records are resolved and it comes, Nginx is going to pick up those requests and route them to the Odoo server. So that's that's kind of the high level description of what's happening here. We will follow along with our installation guide. We want to make sure that this is running, which it is, and that I would have no doubt about that. I'm going to go ahead and install my cert bot, and that's done. No errors there, so we come back one more time. Now this is going to tell uh, the cert bot that we want to use a strong key and some of the security parameters here. It'll generate things. So this will take a little while. It says it'll take a long time. I think the word long is relative. It won't take long, but it does take so long I will pause the video. And once that's done, we're going to set up a directory to hold our certificates. And so I'm going to come back here. Using our sudo, we make the directory. Let's jump back. And this is just changing some group status so that uh, the system has the access required to these, to these snippets we're gonna create. And the reason we're doing this is it just makes it easier later when we go to add additional websites or if we have troubles troubleshooting it it just modularizes it a little bit I've, and so now this is the first snippet we're going to create now you can follow the guide to get all the details from this i'm just trying to get these in here as quick as possible so we're, we're basically setting up permissions for holding our snippets here now we're creating the file for one of these challenges. And so what's gonna happen, these challenges are basically the way that the cert bot ver verifies that we are who we say we are and we're not just directing somebody's domain name to a server and, and, and creating up a false certificate. So this is how it knows that when people are going to the server, it's going to the server that it claims that they're going to. Now, 
This creates the file like before using nano. So this is our SSL configuration. I'm going to grab all of this down to here. So in this case, it's breaking across the pages. So I'm going to make sure I get it all and paste it in. Now you don't have to change anything in here. So one of the reasons we're doing this is all this is generic. What, no matter what your domain name is, no matter how you set up Odoo, how you set up in Nginx, if you if you follow our guide here, this will work. Now, and notice this is now we have our snippets file created. We can make a generic Nginx configuration to use them. So I'm going to come down here. And this is where you are going to change this to yours. I'm going to change this to siteproposals.com, just like that, because that's the name of the domain name that I'm setting up. And I hit enter like that to create the new file. Now, this is an actual Nginx configuration file. And I'm going to copy and paste this in here. And you'll notice that it's including our snippets that we have here and that we can come up here and change these to our domain name that we require just like that and you just want to make sure you follow the same syntax you're just telling nginx when we see these domain names you know react on them and then you notice it says include so everything that we put inside of here basically gets stuffed in here as well you just it just broke it up into a separate file and um, that's all you need so you hit control O to save it and control X to exit and then now if we keep back to our guide here this is what's going to actually enable this particular configuration uh, right now it notice it says it's in sites dash available well that means they're available but they're not enabled and so what we need to do is take this and we have to have this name be exactly the same so it's site proposals.com and notice this has to exactly match and it's going to then copy or not copy make a link and that link is going to reside in enabled so we can change everything we need to in, in available and if we don't want that site available or I should say enabled if we don't want it enabled anymore we can just delete the link here and just leave it over in available so I hit enter and just like that it creates the link and now we need to restart nginx I'm sure yeah and so we can take this command and this notice this is the same system CTL command we used for Odoo we created a Odoo service we created a custom service well Nginx is no different it's gonna be managed the same way so we hit restart here now if anything really weird bad happened it probably should have erred here but we can then do one more thing um, I would probably do a status just to see And we can see uh, Nginx is running fine, active and running. So that's a good thing. Let's jump back again. And now we're ready to actually acquire the certificate. So we copy this in here. You're going to want that guide. So come and use the link below to get the guide. Come in here. And you're going to want to put in an email here. I actually have, you know, you know I'm just going to put this in here because I don't need from a security standpoint for you guys to know what I would use a you know because I will lock this down once I'm done with done with the, uh, the tutorial you know, I might just even decommission this server and make a new one but uh, if I come here now and say site propose proposals.com and this is www siteproposals.com and so you kind of make sure you don't misspell things it, it can get tedious you know maybe keep things in the clipboard that you're typing a lot but you can see that it's creating both of these at the same time and the cert bots gonna go and look and when I hit enter now we're really gonna know if it can find our server and I hit yes and go 
And so if something would not work here, it says it's waiting for, so this is all good news. So now, even if we go to siteproposals.com right now, uh, we're not gonna have Odoo running, um, but it's not hooked up to Odoo yet. It doesn't know about Odoo, right? So let's fix that. Back to our guide. So this is a good step. If you have a problem here, now, you want to also set up the auto renew. So if you don't do this step that I'm going to show you right here, this this will expire, I think, in six months. And it'll, like, really wreck your world if you're not prepared for that because literally no one will be able to get to the site. It messes everything up. And you have to go in, in, in like, a crisis situation and, and get a new certificate because once it expires, it, you can't really renew it anymore. So um, don't let that happen. By doing this we edit the uh, configuration file now what we want to do is go to the very 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 end of this by using our arrow keys very very end. hit a space there and we want to paste in this part right here copy make sure you get the whole thing and paste it and it just goes on the end like this. That's all you need. And because this will reload Nginx and for whatever all this stuff does. I don't even know for sure what it all does in there. But I know it works. So I write it out and exit. Don't trouble yourself with having to know how everything works. If I had to figure out what all those switches mean, I'd go through and figure out what all that was if I had to. But I, I don't need to. And so that's done. That's all you have to do there because it's part of the cron here, it'll just do itself automatically. So now we need to change our environment here, like our, our uh, configuration. So we come back in he to here, and this is gonna be the one we already made before to get the certificate, now needs to be configured to talk to Odoo. So this is that same file but it was just to get the configuration. Now we need to talk to Odoo. So we might as well just like delete all of this because there's not much left. Um, there's not much here. So we get rid of all that. And we just come back to our guide and now we want to get all of this. That's quite a bit. Shift, copy, and paste it in. So notice how there's a replace down here I can do control and you know, backward slash and it says search to replace. I'm going to type in your website.com. And so it's going to do very literally what it says there and hit enter. And I'm going to replace that with my um, site proposals, in my case. And it'll be whatever yours is, just like that, dot com and uh, hit enter and see it finds it I'm gonna do a replace all and just like that 12 occurrences replaced that's why it's important that you know when you're naming these files like these certificate files they would have to be named correctly um, and I'm looking through for anywhere it might make a mistake fingers crossed now obviously you need to have these ports up here match the ones that you have in your configuration file that's really what is the most important part if you don't do this then it can't find it so i'm gonna hit control o write that out exit and now we're gonna have to come back to here again and restart our nginx now this is the moment of truth no errors that's a good thing very good thing actually I'm going to come back again, make sure that we do these steps as well. So we sudo nano to our config file, and we want to turn proxy mode equal to true. So we want to add this here. So we add that proxy mode equals true, and exit, because otherwise Odoo doesn't know that it's passing off to another service basically to manage it and it can basically time out it can not do and perform as you would expect uh, I, f I found it particularly uh, true when you're doing multi-threaded stuff we can check our status it's never bad to check the status because um, sometimes things just don't start right and so it looks like everything's running like it's supposed to here 
Now we really should be able to go to the HTTPS. We're done. We have a install now. It's secure, it's SSL. We can go up here and we'll see that it's a, a full secure connection. It didn't cost anything. We didn't have to buy an SSL certificate because we used uh, the, the Let's Encrypt free one. And that is pretty much it. I didn't have any major side effects or problems. And uh, as you can see, it's not that hard to install Odoo if everything goes right. There'll be things that go wrong, trust me with that. I would say if worse comes to worse, you start over uh, and do it again. But usually by re making sure you have all the packages installed, making sure that when there is an error, you work that step, make sure you got the right user, those kind of things. So hopefully this has been a really useful thing for you if you're trying to install Odoo with like a comprehensive set of guides that are easy to understand. I tried to make it as easy as I could. So please like and subscribe if you like and want more of this stuff. I really need that and I need the comments and telling me what, what you guys wanna see. Definitely helps me a lot if you wanna check out my courses below on Odoo, Mastering Odoo Development, Odoo Essentials, so that you can get up and, and go. I'll, I'll tell you that having clear concise information to install Odoo and someone that can help you get there will be important for your integrations going forward if it's not me find a partner Odoo partner you trust or an Odoo expert or someone that, that has experience with you know, multiple installations to assist you so thank you very much I really hope this helped look forward to your comments and your feedback thanks